Hi, beautiful. One of the first things I ever learned how to do to hair is braid. And I am fascinated by how these black men and women can do these braids so well. It is unbelievable and people are very skilled. I am not quite there yet though. I'm gonna watch some tutorials. Hopefully I don't make a fool out of myself. <laughs> This is getting ugly. I'm definitely gonna get a little frustrated. I can already feel it brewing. So let's do it. So we're starting off basic, okay? We're starting off with just a regular cornrow for beginners. The most important thing I wanna learn here is how to place my fingers. I always do it like this, and I'm supposed to be doing it like this, like the pro braiders braid on top. This is by Kelichi McBemina. Let's see how it's done. For this entire cornrowing process, you're going to be needing three fingers from each hand. You're gonna be needing your thumb, your index finger, as well as your middle finger. These fingers are gonna be the one doing the entire work. What? Now we're going to be looping each hair strands across each other. And while we're doing that, we're making sure to kick the hair from the back so that way it cornrows and it's not a braid, basically. Mm, I don't know if I can do this. Guys, I feel like I'm gonna be so embarrassed today. I would really like to not be embarrassed and like have this come out good, but you know, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and just hope for the best. Oh my God. I hope to one day be as talented as she is. So we're gonna take a really thin section at the front because that is what I was told to do. Oh, okay, so here's the issue. I don't know how to like maneuver so that I can get my fingers on top like she does. I really wanna like do it like this where my hands are underneath, but I'm supposed to be doing it like this. All right, let's try it. Come on, we can do this and record myself at the same time. It's fine right? Mm. Nope, it's not fine. Hold on. Let me just get it started because <laughs> I can't do this on camera right now. Am I getting it? Debatable. Am I struggling? Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm starting to get somewhere with this. Wait a damn second. This is so much easier this way. I don't even know if I'm doing it right with the hand placement, but it's working. No, nope, there I lost it again. I'm really <laughs> struggling trying to show you guys this while I do it. This is getting ugly. Oh no, 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 no. So my parting is the thing that I honestly was not even thinking that was gonna be bad. I was like the least of my worries. And as you can see, that looks bad. But I'm telling you guys, you can't really make good parts when there's no hair at the scalp. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm kind of happy with the way this came out, especially with like the new overhand, like sort of pinching technique that I just learned. And um, we're gonna go with it. That was honestly really helpful though, to learn how to like do this kind of overhand. It makes it much easier to pick up the hair as you go. Wow, this thing is on her scalp. It's like hard as a rock. So we're taking the one in front, putting it at the back and picking up the hair at the back, taking the one in front, putting it at the back and taking, it, <laughs> taking another hair at the back. Mine's ugly. Um, I am gonna keep it at just this one because I got lucky. It looks decent. I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, it's time to step it up a notch. We learned how to do our regular cornrow and now I'm getting very scared because not only could I only accomplish one to my own standards, I have to now do a zigzag cornrow. We're really gonna test me today. <laughs> and this video is by Ida Kirea. So what she's first doing is sectioning out a pretty large section. Oh, what is going on now? What is... What is this? Put it in a hairband or whatever you can to not get them confused with each other. Whoa, I would have never thought about doing it this way. Okay, so these are the sections. So I'm just parting off like a half an inch section at a time and putting one up and one down. I can section hair. Take a small segment from it. it doesn't have to be a lot or neat. Where, where are we going with this? Put that on the side so then the idea is that I'm gonna go down here and then continue it. Oh. So I'm just gonna take off the excess braid. How is she doing this to her own head? This is elite braiding. Now she's literally turning the braid on her head while she braids. And then feeling for where that hair is. Oh, this is magic. Then turn it in the direction that I'm going in. Look at the C she has. Now we're gonna go zigzag, zigzag. And she could probably do this in five minutes. Turn my hand around, so rotate my hands from this position. Okay, I can try. 
I've seen enough. This is gonna be the easy part, right? Um, braiding just this one section downward. Nope, not the easy. Oh, oh, okay. All right, don't combine the two sections. Let's keep these separate. Okay, I lost my section, okay. <laughs> Go over there, go over there and stay there. Oh, my braid looks twisted and awful. Yeah. I'm having a hard time picking up from one of the sides because there's no hair on it, but whatever happens here, we're keeping it. Oh, this looks good. It's not very close to her scalp, but I'll take it. Now she kind of braided a few times down. Ew, mine's so loose. Wait, so you expect me now to go upwards um, and braid that way? Got it, okay. Uh, this is where <laughs> I get really confused. I'm gonna have to put her head down because like otherwise I can't do this. Oh, this is the ugliest braid I've ever seen in my life. No, Brad, you were doing kind of good. Oh God, so ugly. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm not gonna be picky today. We're gonna go back down the other way. <gasps> Oh my God. I'm definitely a dramatic person, but like right now I feel like I'm not being dramatic. I'm embarrassed to show you what I'm doing. It's not going well. Um, I do probably have to start over and I'm going to have to cheat. I'm going to have to, because this is just not gonna happen the way I want it to. I'm going to have to put her head in my lap in a non-suggestive way, okay? Don't be weird. I'm going to take her off the stand and I'm going to turn her head as I braid. Because you know what? I'm not this good at this, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to get mad. I'm just a little frustrated. Shit on me. Do it. What is this? I'm gonna blame the hair. I feel like if I had a good scalp and I was able to make good partings, I could make this look neat. I'm blaming the head because I have nothing else left. I could try to do it again and I'm sure I would get better as I keep going, obviously, but that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Okay, let's move on to something even harder. That sounds like a great idea. There's actually two things that are harder and it keeps getting harder as we go. Up next, we have the zigzag cross. I'm sorry, what? This video is also by Ida. So my first section I want is here. And the next part I want is here. So now I'm just gonna twist the middle one to keep it out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. What? That's not right. It's not even like a little bit right. <laughs> So we're just gonna twist these sections we're currently not using to get them out of the way. So here is my sectioning. That's it. If that looks confusing, I would have to very much agree with you. Uh, and we're now just gonna braid up and down. Again, I don't know. I'm just gonna do it, so. Uh, okay. I'm putting her in my lap, I'm over it. I feel like no matter which way I turn her, I still can't do it. All right, little baby section to start and then fingers over no not like that brad not like that that's not the way we're doing underhand right because that's what we've been doing the entire time <laughs> and that's what you should keep doing Ooh. 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 How, do you, how, how, do, how do you guys see what you're doing i'm just grabbing at random shit, hoping that it's the right section okay now we're crossing over we're getting our sort of like zigzag formation in Spray looks terrible. Great, okay, awesome. I've lost my overhand grip. I'm trying to work it back up. Mm. 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 No. That ain't it, love. So that is like the first part. And now I have to cross them. Okay, let's see how see how my girl did it here. Then that one's done, so I'm just gonna apply it down a bit because I'm leaving it halfway, so I'm just in the front of her hair right now. Pat that down and then remove your twists and you do exactly the same thing with the other that the other came in. Oh no, you made that look way too simple. <laughs> Do you see it crossing? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yes, 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 yes. Why is this braid coming out so much better? Oh my god, I'm like happy but annoyed. Oh god, I still can't seem to do those like that like overhand thing. Or maybe I'm just not trying. <laughs> That's probably it. Okay, there we go. We're doing the overhand now. Nope, we're not. We're lost it again. <gasps> yes. Okay, listen. I know that this isn't great, but I did crisscross applesauce. 
braid. And it's staying. Whoa, I feel like I'm actually progressing and I'm very excited about it because I know if I just practice this a little bit more, I could actually do some really beautiful braids. And thank you, Ida. What would I do without you? I'm ditching the tripod. I can't handle this. If I ever braid somebody's hair, like I'm gonna have to have them lay in my lap. That's the only way it can work. We have one more braid to go. Yes, I'm sorry. You still have to be my client for another like 30 minutes. <laughs> If you thought, Brad, what what could you possibly do now? Um, let me show you what I can possibly do and what I'm going to do. It's a heart braid. And this is by Glam Femme Hair and Beauty. Teach me how to do a heart braid. This part doesn't have to be perfect because you are gonna clean it up quite a bit as you work. So I'm gonna go in there and just kind of create a dip in the middle so that way I can kind of visualize where that heart's gonna start. And I realized I wanted a bit more of that arch to the heart. I like to work at it in increments like this because it allows me to more easily kind of see what I'm doing and visualize. Oh, I see it. After I've done that, I'm gonna pin the excess hair out of the way, part down the center, and I'm gonna separate that into two and separate those into two subsections going horizontally. <laughs> My mental health level has completely just disintegrated throughout this video. And I am this close to calling it quits. I'm gonna go ahead and begin braiding upwards. And we're just gonna do this entire little part line this way. Now I like to break down my braids to where it's basically a bunch of straight uh, partings or straight lines. I just feel like it makes it easier for people to understand the patterns. And then we're just gonna braid down a little ways and I will put a duck bill clip on there just to kind of hold that securely. I always start off with a very small triangle in the corners. It just makes the braids look a lot more neat. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and round out the top. I'll just lay one on top of the other and we'll duplicate those strands. So okay. Middle strand, right strand, right strand, left strand, left strand, and then just continue braiding right on down. I wish this was tequila instead of water. Right about now. Let's um attempt to form a heart. We're gonna like round out the heart part. I need your head attached to a body, ma'am. Can you please put your head back on a body? What? What? I can't even part the hair. Okay, we're just gonna start off with a triangle. Okay. I have successfully sectioned a heart, which honestly, if that's all I can do, then I'm gonna be happy with that. That was impressive for me. It is way harder to section a heart on a head rather than just like watch somebody do it. Try it yourself, it's really hard. Okay, I have successfully made my sections. Now it's time to braid. I did half of the heart braid. It's not great. I'm not surprised by that, but it's there. Let's finish it. Uh, now I have to somehow combine these two braids. Never gets easy, huh? I mean, I accomplished the task. It's so bad. So much worse than I thought it was gonna look, but it's a heart. I'm a colorist, so don't come for me. I'm not a braider and I leave that up to the black community to be the most exquisite braiders in the world. And you know, your little white boy over here is not trying to, not trying to compete. We're gonna forget that I did that one. I feel like that's all I really can handle today. I honestly had a plan <clears throat> to do the entire head, but let me tell you after doing this, after doing this heart braid, I just feel like that wouldn't be a good idea for me. It's just all I have in me at this point. I hope you can accept this love, this heart that I made for you. I'm so sorry. I can't braid anymore today. That's all I got in me. I am so sorry to myself and to you guys. I'm embarrassed <laughs> because I, I like to be good at everything, but sometimes you just gotta admit to yourself that you can't be good at everything. I know I'll get better with a lot more practice um, and I clearly need more practice with braiding. All of you that were featured in today's video, you're so great. You're so amazing at braiding. It's incredible. You make it look so easy. If you'd like to check out any of their channels, they are linked below. I'm gonna keep going with this and hopefully one day I can I braid like you guys. Can. That is all for today. Make sure you guys check out my hair care, my hair color line. Here are all of my social handles and everything is linked below for you. You can also head to our website to check out everything we offer linked below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.